Hello, people of social media. My name is Leon. You may know me as Lamb Chop. You may know me as Lee Wop. You may not know me at all, and that's totally fine. But um, today is my first episode of my daily vlog that I am going to be sharing um, the things that have worked for me in my life. And hopefully, by saying these things, I can help even just one of you guys with. Um, pursuing your goals and you know being the best person that you want to be now a disclaimer okay I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like everything that I say is facts okay because it's not you know it's simply my opinion so take it how you want it, right I'm sitting on this this little stoop here on a beautiful 23 27 degree day here in st. Paul on the river and I just thought that my first topic would be self-talk okay now what's so important about self-talk Self-talk is one of the most important things in your life when it comes to um, either the progressiveness or the stagnation of who we are as human beings, right? Simply because of the fact that the way that, that you speak to yourself, the way that you hold yourself accountable is who you're going to be every day. It's that simple. <clears throat> now, someone that... Now, your, your self-talk is... It consists of pretty much a dialogue that encompasses who you are as a person, right? So if you are a weak individual, you're going to be, you know, your self-talk is going to be full of doubts. It's going to be full of excuses. It's going to be full of, you know, um, you know, just just downplaying type dialogue, you know, not not living to your 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 full potential, taking, you know, pressing the easy button on everything that you can. You know, um, just, yeah, your, 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 your self-talk is just always giving you an, an easy way out, you know, to be most comfortable, right? Now, if you're a strong individual, your self-talk is going to be a lot more savage, right? You're going to be telling yourself, um, well, you're not going to be giving yourself any kind of excuses for anything. You're not going to allow yourself to slack. When you feel like slacking, your self-talk is going to be there kicking your ass, telling you, hey, look, I know how you feel but fuck your feelings, get after it. It's that simple. And that's that kind of self-talk really, uh, when it comes down to it, when you have a, a strong self-talk, that's when you really truly realize your potential. When you um, take your feelings and your emotions out of what you're trying to achieve on a daily basis, you'll realize that um, you're capable of a lot more than you think. So um, now, how do you uh, build a proper self-talk? Now, the self-talk that you have right now in your life has been built on by the constant indulgence of what you're most comfortable with, right? So if you've spent most of your life, like I said, you know, you know, taking the weak way out, the easy way out of, you know, just constantly, you know, giving yourself reasons why, you, you know, you, you can't, right, quote unquote, can't do the things that you need to do for yourself because of whatever reason, right? The only way that you're going to change the way that you, you know, talk to yourself is by taking baby steps, right? I mean, no one's going to turn into a complete savage overnight. That's just not, that's not how it works. It takes baby steps. Um, and I say that one of the first baby steps is just teaching yourself how to, um, simply take things like you know like i said choice and emotion out of your daily routine you know like if if let's say like okay for example like i have a fitness goal right let's say if, like for example this is just for example I, like i have a fitness goal i'm trying to lose you know um 30 pounds by whenever right so my self-talk is going to tell me like okay look um, I may not feel like working out today. I may not feel like eating right today, but I don't give a fuck how I feel. I'm going to do what I need to do for myself because my self-talk is being savage in a way of saying, look, you don't have a choice. You're going to do this whether you like it in the moment now or not, because in the future, when you achieve your goals, it'll, you know, it'll all be worth it. And that drives you, right? So, I mean, just, it's like I said, it's, it's not an overnight thing. Um, you know, it, 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 it takes a lot of work. It takes, it, it takes consistency, which is key. You know, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video that I'll get into. Um, consistency, willpower as well, willingness. I mean, that's again, a, a whole nother topic for, you know, another video. But I mean, 
you'll realize that when you're when your willingness is strong when your willingness is is aligned with with your self-talk and your willingness is strong enough you'll realize that the task at hand is nowhere near as grand and difficult as you thought it was it's simply the choice to, to change the fact that you're you're giving yourself a choice that you're putting emotion into it if you're like okay hey you know like i have a goal i'm gonna get after it no matter how i feel that's when you realize your your true potential so just a little bit on self-talk there um hope you guys got something from that um if y'all have any questions you know going further into it i'd be happy to answer any kind of questions about it um keep in mind you know this is my this is my first episode of my vlog here so i'm trying to be the best that i can and explaining what you know i know and how i feel but you know cut me a little slack if i'm not doing the best because you know it, it's a work in progress right so um have a beautiful day guys fucking get after it